Above the seven, in the seven sphere, there's a special thing that happens to you. You actually start processing everything you do with your soul, with your emotions. You don't think about what you do anymore. Does that sound wonderful or what? You don't have to think about what you do anymore. You just do it. You just go ahead and do it. You feel everything. So I'm not talking to you with notes, right? Because I don't, this doesn't help me feel anything. I'm talking to you straight from how I feel. And you'll find, you'll, you'll do exactly that. As you progress through this path, you will start doing that. And in the seventh year, you do it so, you do it so much that you don't even think about anything anymore. You don't plan anything anymore. And yet, everything works out without your planning it. It simplifies your life to so much, right? Wow. Yeah. And in the eighth sphere, and there is an eighth sphere, you go through this huge transition that in the Bible was called being born again. Right. Now I'm not saying like it is in a religious sense. Your soul, what happens to your soul is your soul becomes divine in that you become at one with God at the eighth sphere. So this part, the eighth sphere is the first time you become at one with God. There is so much of God's love in you that you cannot do anything that's out of harmony with it. Is this why we're here on the earth plane in physical form? Yes. I thought these spheres were in the, the first sphere is the spirit world and these are all dimensions, but remember, right now, you are a spirit form. You have a spirit form. You have a soul form. Does that make sense? The soul form is wherever your development is. So let's say right now my development is in the second sphere, then my soul form and my spirit form, every time I go to sleep, that's where I'll be living. Does that make sense? You can do this here. All of this is possible here as well as in the spirit world. What I'm saying applies to spirits who are here listening as well as to all of us who are here in physical form. Yeah. It's identical. You can progress this way. When you get to the eighth sphere, you become born again. Jesus was born again in the first century. Remember, he said those words in John chapter 3, I know you read the Bible. <laughs> and uh, many don't anymore, right? But, uh, it uses the term born again. The spirits who are above there, when you talk to them, they call it the new birth. The reason why they call it the new birth is because the soul is transformed into a type totally different creature. What happens is as the divine love enters the soul, it actually adjusts the soul. The soul actually changes in its form and it becomes, instead of a human soul, it starts becoming a divine soul. And these, this area above the eighth dimension is called, on the eighth dimension above, is called the celestial kingdom, or it's also often called the, um, uh, the kingdom of the angels. And every one of the spirits who live there have become at one with God. Now, there are over four billion spirits in that location of the spirit world. 